Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a wait a minute production. Today is the uh, excuse me, I just had my dinner. Uh today is the 24th of January 2014. It's a Friday and it's 9 30 pm. So let's get on cracking. There's something missing here and it's not this picture. This picture is a nice uh, young picture of Takako Uehara. She's beautiful and you can see her uh her uh her ears are pretty long. Very very long indeed. And looking very very cute, very very cute. So let's uh, take a looky looky and see what we got. We got here is uh, well, I'm going to like uh, use something from somewhere. Ellie Ying, I have used her for uh, quite some time already. So I uh, guess it's something else this time. So let's go back to Winsun Cafe and look at what we got. Hmm. Let's go for shrine. Whoops, as he said, let's get on cracking. So today I'm going to do another 6 degrees of separation. And it's not Kevin Bacon, maybe it's a 1% like say separation from everything else. Uh, it's going to be well, about uh, music and stuff. So too bad for you, you don't like music. Uh, who doesn't like music? Oh my god, there's nobody that likes, doesn't like, nobody, there's nobody that does not like music. So where is it? It's gotta be somewhere. I got a lot of uh, stuff here and there and everywhere. God fucking damn it. Okay, got it. As you can see, there are a lot and lot of tabs. And you can see here, this in Malaysia is a scene. Uh, dragon dancers or lion dancers to commemorate some festival or launch of a menu or a new product. Uh, the Chinese people are kind of like a superstitious lot, so they prefer to uh, do stuff like this. Uh, have have a lion dance, so it will be successful and bring lots and lots of money. So the Chinese people are the Jews of the Orient, I guess. Uh, I think maybe uh, sounding a bit a uh, bit uh, racist now. Yeah. So try not to be. And I'm certain it's somewhere actually. I think it's this one here. No, no, I'm not going to say any bad word today. Yep. And uh, the the six degrees of separation begins with diamond dust. Diamond dust. If you do not know what's diamond dust, then I cannot help you because I do not know what's diamond dust. But I think I have a rudimentary and understanding of uh, diamonds and also a rudimentary understanding of dust. Dust is made from, well, maybe from our skin. That's why we have a lot of dust in our houses and whatnot. And here is Shrine and her sister. Shrine the Kung Fu Master and whatnot. Uh, okay. uh, she kind she looks kinda like uh cute as well. Both of them actually, both of them look cute. So diamond dust uh, diamonds are something uh like a woman's best friend, although it should not be so expensive. It's because we have companies like the beers and whatnot, they they are destroying the diamonds, they are like grinding it into dust so that uh, the demand I mean the supply would always be very low. And therefore, when supply is low and demand is high, the price will go up. Uh, in a perfect world where everything is perfect, uh, diamonds won't be that expensive. And if diamonds are not expensive, that means girls won't lust for it that much when they want to like get married. So it's a trend uh, in every Western country. Uh, get diamonds for for as a sorry as a engagement ring. Uh, the Chinese people or the Orients or whatever we call them. The slit eye, the chinks, whatever. Okay, it's a bit racist now. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, I am a chink actually, but never mind. Uh, it's to get jade or gold. Uh, silver not so much. So jade and gold, not so much on diamonds. Diamonds is kind of like uh, once you buy, it's like a car. Once you buy it, it drops in value. So there's no point in actually investing in diamonds because diamonds are just rocks and crap. It's also like uh, translucent. What's the point? You can like give your girlfriend a plastic or a glass, then that's 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 translucent. Just have it, man. Just have a whole sheet of glass. That's my engagement present to you. Well, that's enough of me joking around. So this one, we begin this uh, extravagant, uh, extravagant section or video about all these things. Oh my God, there are so many tabs. Oh fuck. Uh, doing this uh, six degrees of separation can actually 
uh, make me crazy okay makes me crazy so I want you to actually do something for me go to this this link I'm gonna make a link here in the about section of course uh, for us we are lazy and we need to have our hands hold while we go through the toilet or whatever we do so Diamond Dust is a very good song very very good song and uh, I'm going to like uh, listen to it so bear with me okay I just listened to it so this uh, song Diamond Dust is is actually a sad song and it's like a long lost love or a love that's not requited or unrequited love as they call it and uh, it's uh, quite a sad song if you want to be sad then listen to this or you are sadly in love or you are sad because your love is not uh, well uh, not given back to you so uh, it's not replied in kind so who is this Kyosuke Kimuro Kyosuke Kimuro is a Japanese singer songwriter he was a member of the rock group Bowie from 1981 to blah 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 blah, blah. so uh, yeah so there is also a live version of Diamond Dust and I can assure you it's pretty awesome very good indeed so yep and next is uh, yep, more Kosuke Himuro so we started from this music and this music Diamond Dust is uh, related to a J drama and the J drama uh, is uh, this one here the, that, the song is very good so listen to it I'm telling you okay so the J drama that's uh, in particular uh, that has used this this song as its main theme is called Koori no Sekai Sekai is world so Sekai is world Koori I don't know so Koori should be uh, something like an ice world or inanimate world and it's starring two very very famous act, act, actors uh, I'm going to refer to the girls as actors and not actresses because nowadays I don't know why they in Hollywood they call actresses actors so well uh, just going with the trend actually so there are two very famous actors which is uh, Takenouchi Take no Yutaka and also Matsushima Nanako aka Nanako or Nana, Nana-san or Nanako-san so both of them are very very pretty and handsome so let's take a looky looky Kori no Sekai is a J-drama I do not remember it uh, much at all but if I'm not mistaken it's about uh, a, a detective which is uh, played by Take no Uchi Yutaka and he's investigating uh, Matsushima Nanako I think it's something to do with a crime a passionate crime a death of her boyfriend or husband or something like that I think it's been a long long time maybe 10 or 20 years ago since I watched this this uh, diamond no not diamond dust uh, ice world uh, J drama back then when it came out it was uh, it was in VCD format so you have to buy it you can't download it from the net because the net was not sophisticated back then it was from 1999 to 1999 okay uh, only two months only one month uh, what the fuck uh, yeah it's only 11 episodes and it's brought to you by Fuji TV <clears throat> so this is one of the pictures from this uh, this show Ice World this one as well or it's called in the inanimate world I love this type of uh, design for the kanji it's just lovely and uh, both of them looking very good very cute for Nanako and very 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 handsome for what's his name fuck knows uh, Take no Uchi damn that's a uh, mouthful I call him Yuta Yuta huh? So there is also a, a, a type of a, a music from this a music insert so I'm going to take a looky looky okay uh, not hearing hearing okay so it's another another good uh, OST another soundtrack it's not a song it's a soundtrack it is uh, there's I don't know how to explain it you just listen it to yourself uh, for yourself uh, there is uh, emotions in it uh, maybe trepidation and excitement in this song or oh, sorry in this uh, soundtrack not bad at all so let's uh, go and take a look Yutaka Take no Uchi is a very very handsome guy he was born in the 2nd of January 1971 in Tokyo 
and he's a very popular Japanese TV actor and model. Of course, he's a model. He's so handsome. Oh my god, he's one of the guys that I would I won't mind fucking actually. Uh, only after uh, Takuya Kimura, I I'm not gay, but damn, he looks fine. I I don't mind fucking him, but I do mind him fucking me. I don't want my ass to be penetrated by some uh, foreign object. So, yep. So these are the nice pictures of Mr. Yuta here. Very, very handsome indeed. Especially when he has short, uh, no, especially when he has long hair. Something like uh, what Kimura, Tak Takuya Kimura used to have. And this is what he looks like when he was younger. Wow. And he is very handsome now with his uh, cleft or chin something. I don't know. Cleft is it? Is it called cleft? Cleft, yeah. Cleft. So, yep. That's him. And uh, it's more of him. What, what the hell? Oh, who's this? Huh? I think it's his, his wife. Huh? I actually don't know. No idea. Oh, this is another actress. Uh, I can't be Kim Chang. Oh, this is just an actress that is going to star alongside uh, Mr. Yuta. And uh, she is, uh, I think her name is Uwa, Ueha. U E H A. Ueha. She starred in that uh, Kyoshi Kyoshi something something. Uh, 2000 something. Uh, the school teacher something something. It's a story about a student who is like uh, 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 falling in love with a guy teacher. And the guy teacher has some kind of a disease and he's going to die. So, so the guy actually. Uh, tells her that she's gonna die because she has a disease. It's kind of complicated, but uh, it's, it's quite a nice uh, show to actually watch and she is uh, very very young in that uh, That movie. Oh, sorry in that J-drama uh, Kyoshi Kyoshi and a year. I'm not sure which year, but uh, it's uh, worth worth watching and she has really really grown into a beautiful girl Last time it was very young too young actually. Ah, her name is Aya Ueto Aya Ueto is beautiful, very beautiful. Now she is older, she is much, much, uh, much, much prettier. So the, the, uh, this one has ended. So let's go and take a look at something else. We might as well go back to what's her name, uh, Victoria Aikian. And, uh, let's see, which one is it? Come on. Okay, it's up here. Okay, the way for her to come about. So uh, let's talk something else. Yep, she is very beautiful. This uh, Ueta uh, U, U, Aya Ueto. Aya Ueto. So, yep, he's looking old but still sexy. And uh, he's uh, doing. There comes uh, Miss uh, Victoria Aiyan. We're looking really like. Uh, like, uh, like, what's the name? Uh, Misaki Ito. Yeah, Misaki Ito. So, uh, okay, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, Durban, Durban. He looks very, very handsome indeed. Very handsome. And uh, this is a young, young picture of Yuta. Very, very handsome. Very, very handsome. I, he's so handsome that I'm getting horny looking at him. I'm not gay, okay? I'm not a homo guy, and wow, he looks not bad, not bad. Uh, and there's an interesting fact that I tried to find out. Uh, there is something about Yutaka Take no Uchi, and uh, well, back in the day, about ten years ago, I came across a video, uh, a video that is uh, back then they call it a blue film. Uh, one day I was taking a walk and uh, suddenly I found a VCD on the on the floor. Would you believe it? So I picked up I picked up the VCD and I I uh and I watched the contents and uh, there was this uh this 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 J porn uh involving a guy with long hair 
and looking like uh, Mr. Utah. Yeah, Mr. Utah has long hair and is uh, they blurred his face, but I can tell it's him definitely. And he was about to like say make love to another. Uh, I think it's a porn star. She looks very very pretty, and she was not like say never. Uh, she did not have her face blurred, but this it was strange. This uh, VCD or this uh, this this uh, video was strange because. Uh, why did they blur the guy's face? Normally, it's the other way around. Or actually, the girl should not be blurred around the face. It's always blurred around that uh, you know where. Uh, so, if his face is like blurred, that means the guy is a well-known person. So, I surmised that that guy is actually Yutaka Take no Uchi. And uh, he had sex with a very pretty girl. So I tried to find the the offending, not offending. It's a uh, it's quite a delightful video of of that uh, situation or that uh, that act. But uh, there's no no okay. And then uh, we are inside. Unfortunately, I just don't like it. Uh, the inside type of uh, video because there's there's lack of lighting and I cannot see her properly. She's the lighting in is just terrible. I'm I'm not capturing capturing her beautiful, uh her beautiful features, uh because the light was terrible, unfortunately. So uh yeah, I tried to find the the stuff the information about this uh this sex act act between Yutaka Takenouchi and some pretty girl, but there's none to be had in this uh Google and whatnot. So uh, I was quite uh quite disappointed. So the next actress will be Nanako Matsushima, or known as Nana in Japan. She is very beautiful. Uh, she is a Japanese actress and a model. She is known outside of Japan for her role in the horror film The Ring. And uh, yep, that's about it. And next, you can see uh, what Nana Nanako has done. Uh, the only ones that I've watched uh, is uh, Hanayori Dango Returns. She plays the sister of the male protagonist who is a member of the J-pop band called Arashi. Arashi in Japanese means storm. Storm as in, you know, the if you are in America, there's a lot of storms there. And uh, I don't know why storms are always in America. The storms, I say, like whirlwinds and very, very, very fast uh, wind blowing here and there and everywhere. And sometimes you're... Your clothes will be ripped off. If you're a girl, then all the better. If you're a guy, don't let me see that happening, okay? So, uh, besides that, uh, we get to, like, uh, enjoy Nanako's acting in Great Teacher Onizuka, the older version back in 1998. Uh, bear in mind, there is a new world, uh, Great Teacher Onizuka J-drama made in 2013, and that was pretty awesome. Very, very good. Very, very good indeed. And besides that, uh, what else have I seen that is uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, Nanako has acted in is uh, I think the other one would be Yama. Mm, uh, no, not this one. Uh, okay, I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, no, no, no. Forbidden love. Yeah, forbidden love. Majo no Joken. Uh, she was in love with another guy, a very young guy. A uh, very very young guy, actually one of the students. She was a, a teacher, and she fell in love with a student. And a student is quite handsome for a guy, really. Uh, nope, I wouldn't. I would, I don't want to fuck him actually. So this one, the title for Forbidden Love is also called the uh, the witch. I think uh, the witch. I mean, you know, the witch, the the people, the uh, the people who have like say a staff and a very pointy head, that type of witch. So uh, one of the shows that she has acted in is Hana Yori Dango. I think she acted in the second season and not the first one, but I'm doing the first one just in case. So it's uh, starring this very cute girl here. I like her because she's feisty, she's like a weed. She won't die down. And she is uh, 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 not allergic. Uh, she is immune to weed killer. So it's a very tough organism she is. And uh, the rest of these are the F1. The F1 are the handsome guys who are super rich as well. Uh, all of them are very handsome. Very handsome indeed. And uh, out of all the four of them, I like this one the best. Uh, 
this one is very handsome. I think he has some mixed blood in him. And I don't know why people like to like. I don't know why they like this guy here. He has a kind of like a you know the when you have when you're born you have a birth defect in your like lip. The lip is split. Yeah, he has that one. I, not that I'm uh, prejudiced against that, but I just think of his face is not that nice. Not because of the cleft, but it's just a normal look. I wouldn't let him fuck me actually, since I'm not gay. So, Hana Yori Dango, of course, uh, the OST for this, or the main theme for Hana Yori Dango is worth listening to. It's worth listening to, I'm telling you, and she looks very cute indeed. You want her to be like living next to you, definitely. Uh, her, uh, yep, living next to you, in particular, maybe next room and not next door. Next room with your best, or maybe next bed in the same room. That would be even better. And besides that, uh, the good songs from here is also this one here. This one is pretty good, so I'm gonna pause and listen to it. Bear with me, and uh, yep. <coughs> so this is a quite a good pop song. Uh, it's alright, not bad. So uh, not bad. And also uh, do listen to it. I'm leaving the links as usual. This one is another thing. Also, this uh, live performance is pretty good as well. And this is the MV3 version. There's no moving pictures. Is uh, the best quality of of the sound. The sound is the best quality in all these things. And also, there is another one. Uh, this is a song called Wish, and it's in the original soundtrack. So this is pretty nice as well. And uh, and this one here. Oh my God. Uh, this one is Utada Hikaru. Utada Hikaru. This is the the song called Flavor of Life. This one you have to listen to it. It is as good as the Diamond Dust. This song here is full of emotion. You will definitely cry if you listen to this. It is very very good. Very very good indeed. I just need to watch. I mean, I need to re uh, listen to it again. So sorry. So I've listened to the the music and damn, it, it can really bring you to tears. It's full of emotion. It is just excellent. I would give this a 10 stars out of 10. And uh, yeah, uh, Utada Hikaru has been uh, getting older with time already. Of course, everybody gets older and they don't get younger, unfortunately. So far, we haven't found the fountain of youth. So tough luck for us human beings. We'll definitely die soon. So, uh, well, not as, uh, not as soon as the people like uh, in Attack of Attack on the Titans. So uh, yeah, mm. very good song. It's uh, very very good. Okay, listen to it in the links below. So it will stir your emotions. Okay, if you're a heartless bastard, definitely a heartless heartless bastard would would uh, would also cry to this song. It's it's just it is it's it's so beautiful. This song. Oh my god, very good. The flavor of life. And uh, I'm not referring to sperm or love juice, okay? So the next one here is another link that I would uh, like to share with you. It is a, a black person, a Negro, I think, uh, from I don't know where. But she did a very good rendition of the same song, Flavor of Life. So check it out. And also besides that, there is a male version. Uh, this is a dub version. So some guy sang the the song in English, so it's, it was not bad at all, so, so I'm going to share the link with you. And uh, yeah, since we are playing uh, six, six degrees of separation and whatnot, uh, this one here, Great Teacher Onizuka, is uh, what Nanako has uh, starred in, and uh, this is based off that excellent and innuendo feel uh, manga comic which I really really like because I am an innuendo type of person. I'm a very naughty boy and uh, this is the story of a teacher who is very very naughty and very very sexually well pent up actually. He likes young girls especially the school girl type and all his adventures are pretty funny and uh, nothing sexual in it. Okay maybe there is some but not as much as you would like or, or I like actually. I would love to have it more sexual, but uh, definitely Mr. Onizuka here did not see, seal the deal with the teacher or the student. So, and also, uh, yep, so since we are talking about great teacher Onizuka, there is a person who played uh, the great teacher Onizuka in the J-drama and his name is uh, Takashi Sorimachi. 
and I think Ta Takashi Sorimachi uh, is married to Nanako. Yep, I think he is married to Nanako. So uh, Takashi Sorimachi, who stars in GTO, also did the main team to this great teacher Onizuka. It is called Poison, and it's quite good. It's quite good. So listen to it. It's a, a rip roaring rock type of song. It's uh, it will pump up your blood or well pump up your sperm actually. So another one would be this one. This one is the same shit. So yep. And uh, speaking of uh, uh, what's his name? Takashi Sorimachi. There is a drama called Beach Boys. Beach Boys is also pretty nice uh, to watch. Uh, it's very good actually. And uh, and he was starring beside this guy here, Take no Uchi Yutaka. So you you see the what you call it, the link between all these characters is uh, quite a small world in Japan. So they all of them are linked to one another. So there is also an actress here by the name of Hirosue Roko, and she is very very cute, especially with her uh, incisor teeth jutting out. Very very cute, and she has a very very nice uh, shape. Uh, of the head, very nice indeed. I like this one, and also this one. I like this character as well, Mike Maki. So, yep, they are related to Take no Uchi Yutaka. And uh, besides that, Takashi Sorimachi also did a song called Forever Friends, and that is also a very, very good song. As usual, I'll leave a link below, then you can actually uh, see for yourself whether it's good or not. So uh, now let's go back to Nanako. Nanako did a, a drama called Mojo no Joken. That means a uh, witch, some kind of witch. Uh, so uh, she is a 26 year old high school teacher. She accepts her boyfriend's proposal, blah 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 blah, and suddenly she falls in love with one of the students. Okay, a guy by who looks like a girl actually. Uh, his name is Taki Zawa Hideaki. So let's see what he looks like. And I would uh I would employ you not to scream out loud, okay? It is a very handsome guy. So this is uh him. He has a very feminine face, very very feminine. I I think uh, if this guy were to approach you and, and say to you, I wanna fuck you now, you would like I mean if you're a girl you would let you would just pull down your pants because he's just so handsome. I will pull down my pants. Well, no, no, no. Actually, no. I will ask him to pull down his pants and turn the other way so I can, well, you know what I can do. So, yep. Uh, and uh, so an interesting thing. This guy here, Hideaki Takizawa, uh, he starred in this drama called Boku Dake no Ma Madonna. And uh, it is very, very good. It's a very, very good uh, J-drama. And it stars this girl here who looks, oh my god. Fantastic. What's the name? Kyoko Hasegawa. Kyoko Hasegawa is simply delicious. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Oh, oh my god, oh, okay. Nice. Is that a bigger picture? Ah, that sucks. Too small. I mean, the picture that is not something else, not a personality. Ah, shit. Ah, fuck it. So this one here, she starred in that uh, show, and she looks absolutely delicious. Oh my god, look at her face. She is so yummy. Um, look at her face. Oh my god, she is an embodiment of an angel. A devious looking angel, that is. Wow, look at her. Oh my god. Nice. Even prettier than Nanako, definitely. Definitely. So, uh, back to business so yep uh, where was i yeah yeah so this one here this majo no joken or witcher something uh the 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 show is called uh, there's no no uh, there's like no no english uh, title for it uh you have to go back and take a look it's called Forbidden Love, yes. Forbidden Love between a teacher and her student. Uh, in, a, in Britain, I think there, there are a lot of cases where the teacher, uh, hopefully she's a nice looking teacher, a woman teacher, uh, they tend to like to like uh, make love to the students, the male students. So I uh, wouldn't mind being a student in Britain, definitely. 
So this uh, now I'm back to this one here. Okay, for this Forbidden Love J drama, which I don't remember at all, but I do remember it because I mean just a bit of it because my ex girlfriend, whose name is Thirteen or One Three, she loved this drama. I don't know why, and she loved the main team, which is sang by a very young Utada Hikaru. Utada Hikaru that I've uh, told you to go and listen to this flavor of life. She is here, much much older and still very pretty. I wouldn't mind giving her a good time. So the flavor of life is great. And uh, she started out uh, singing with this great song called First Love. And there is another one as well. That one I've forgotten what's the name of it. Uh, let's go and find out. <coughs> ah, <coughs> the one that she had a hit with was called Automat Automatic. It's automatic. Something like that. It's good. It's very good. So this video uh, has been posted by her, her majesty herself, Utada Hikaru. And I did subscribe to her, didn't I? I think so. Yeah, I did subscribe to her. So that's uh, her own page. And she chose an avatar, which is not, uh, it's, I mean, quite unique. And she didn't choose to have her own face in the avatar itself. So uh, I have to do another video on Utada Hikaru's song. So, uh, well, yeah, I need to do that. Because uh, besides Utada Hikaru, I want to do one on Zark. Uh, feature all their favorite songs or my favorite song of theirs my favorite songs from them and also uh, Chagin and Asuka as well so we get to see a very very young Utada Hikaru here very young I like her nose it's kind of unique and of course the most important thing she is very young in this video about around 20, her 20s I think or less than that who knows but uh, it's a very good song this first love First Love is a very good song. Uh, it's a romantic song, of course, since it's First Love. Titled First Love. So, uh, uh, Victoria, again, I, you're looking great. Looking great indeed. So, uh, yep, that's Utada Hikaru. Uh, yeah, I am subscribed to it. So, let's go and check out uh, Nanako-san. And she looks very nice here. Very young and very nice. And she has a pink, not a pink, uh, mole here on her left eye. Uh, that's quite a, even even this picture is so small I can actually see that she has a mole on her right eye no on her left eye near her left eye so let's check out some of the pictures here looks very nice actually nice uh, this is very nice actually the face is actually very big oh shit this is a what the fuck moment but never mind and uh, even though she's much much older in this picture she's still a very very pretty woman uh, very nice indeed and uh, if you compare Nanako to uh, Choko Hasegawa, okay. uh, Choko Hasegawa here, uh, looking very nice with the short hair actually. Ah, uh, there are no nice pictures of her. Ah, uh, this one is uh, not bad, not bad at all. Ah, very nice. And this one is the best actually. I love this one. This one, I like this one the best because her hairstyle is uh, like the, f the middle part of her, her head, up upper head is like tied into a ponytail. Uh, that's a, a, quite a current trend and it is very very sexy indeed. And uh, it complements her face. Her face is very broad but she is super cute. Very cute indeed. And uh, hopefully there's a nice picture of her. And what's this? See? Seems to be not wearing clothes. Any more nice ones? No, no, no. Okay, this is what she looks like when she was younger. Okay, so this is a very nice picture. I have to, uh, excuse me, I have to, like, what the hell? I've been pushing the wrong button. Ah, blurry. Yep, it's a very nice picture. I like her, her teeth. It's, it's very uniform and very, very American like. Perfect teeth. And I like her button type of nose. A lovely nose indeed. Very nice. Damn, it's a bit slow. But never mind. Uh, that's about it, I guess. 
uh yep those are the songs that i wanted to introduce to you so uh, hopefully you would like listen to it because they are damn damn nice and i would, would like to say thank you to uh to victoria again uh for being my co-host so i guess that's about it so see you malaysia or very from and have a good one yeah yeah